Kevin DeShane has cooked his way to the top of the culinary food chain. And there you go. Serving superstars like John Legend, Garth Brooks, pro athletes including Gronk, and Red Sox icons. But the 48-year-old celebrity chef has never forgotten his roots. Well, this was my favorite spot in the whole school is in this gym, playing basketball. Chef Kev D, as he's now known, returns to his alma mater, Hinsdale High School, giving special needs students a crash course in cooking and helping them raise money for a field trip. So our bok choy here, see how it's getting nice and soft and bright green? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin graduated from Hinsdale in 1993. His mother, Linda DeShane, still teaches here 40 years now. Clearly, he didn't get his height from mom. Two scoops on each, you can close it. But cooking skills run generations deep. He enjoyed cooking with my mom, which is his nana, the spaghetti and full-blooded Italian, so he got right into it at a very young age. I'd get up on a stool and stir and do and maybe do some meatballs and things like that. Um, but the love that she put into every meal and just not wanting anybody to leave. He actually never had any formal culinary training, took a part-time job during college as a short order cook, worked his way up to sous chef and eventually executive chef. I always tell kids now to get a good mix of culinary and working in restaurants so you can get that real world experience. He ran several restaurants around New England then and opened up his own in Vermont. When the Food Network launched, turning chefs into rock stars, Chef Kev D became a household name. Food Network came along and things started to get bigger. He appeared on shows with Emeril Lagasse, Bobby Flay, and Gordon Ramsay, and was featured in six episodes of the great food truck race. 3,000 miles in a food truck in LA and Coachella, Las Vegas, Arizona, Phoenix, uh, all over the, the West Coast in a food truck. He and his partners dished out New England fare. In LA and Vegas and all those places, you'd be amazed at how well our New England grill, which was the name of our truck, sold. People were like, fish and chips, we, can, we can't get this stuff out here. His mom, back home in New Hampshire, glued to his adventures. I was a nervous wreck. I watched it every week. Of course, I didn't know how it was going to end. It ended with Kevin in second place. There's no shortage of victories. Kevin's been named a top chef, has won celebrity chef showdowns, graced magazine covers, wrote a book, and now he's private chef to the stars. Tommy Lee Jones is a client of mine. I travel around if he has a film shoot or he's on vacation uh, and wants a chef there because they can't really go out because they get bugged a lot and there's cameras. Cooking for John Legend means clean meals, roasted chicken, brown rice, very little olive oil, light on the butter. Everybody has their dietary restrictions and everybody has the things they, on a certain diet or they're trying to lose weight for a film or they're athletes or whatever. <laughs> For the kids at Hinsdale, he's whipping up his greatest hits. I'm doing a braised beef short rib Ooh. with a soy chili glaze, Yum. baby bok choy, and then some roasted potatoes. The kids learn technique is just as important as ingredients. We're gonna just pop one out and we're just gonna cut it right here. Nice and soft, let the knife do the work. You don't want it to crumble, right? Freshman Chance McQueen eyeing a career in the kitchen. Nice job on the biscuits. It's interesting. It's definitely exciting. Oh, to be able to cut and chop like a pro. Only do this if you're professional, but you put your hand on the onion like that, and you slice it this way, like that. Ryder Laflamme cooks at home and ate up the opportunity to work under a celebrity chef. Pretty good. I had fun. He's cool. They got to learn what it was like for him growing up, and that one-on-one -on -one time and interaction with him was really good for the kids. Christina Wallace has the Life Skills Program and cooks with the kids once a week. School staff buy the meals. Money raised helps pay for field trips. Chef Kev D's gourmet lunch, a rare treat. Principal John Barth, one of the first in line. It's awesome. The meat is so tender. Um, everything tastes great.
During a school assembly, Chef Kev D shares stories and advice kids can use in or out of the kitchen. Don't ever be scared of getting a no. Teachers and staff thrilled with his homecoming. Guidance Office Secretary Shirley Wolf has worked at the school since the early 80s, so proud of Kevin's success. Oh my gosh, my heart just, it just, I don't know, it's just excited because he's, he's such a good kid. And mom, well, she beams with pride. I always say, that's my boy. It's hard for me to, for it to sink in, you know, he's, he's absolutely amazing. It was great to see everybody. Yeah, big welcome home. It was great.